Hey guys, welcome to another news breakdown here on Soto Pop. Soto. All right, as always, I'm your host Frozen Stratos, and today is a bit windy, so please forgive any of the wind sounds. I can't do anything about nature happening. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we've got some Ultraman stuff that we're gonna take care of, and then we've got a lot of Soto stuff. So right off the bat, we're gonna jump right into Choto Ultraman 6, and I got a little help from Adid Nuva in our Discord uh, for this information, because I'm not too familiar with Ultraman, but then I did a little bit of research myself, because I didn't want to whole heart, like, full-on steal your stuff. Cause that would be rude. Uh, so, We've got Choto Ultraman 6, and this is going to come with Ultraman Mebius, Mebius Brave, Agul, and Kyriroid, plus an extended set. Now, this set is a bit of a shake-up to what's been going on with sets, uh, the, the previous five sets, because first up, Ultraman Mebius, that was just a heavily requested figure, so they decided to put him in, and it was requested in the questionnaires that they actually have, just like Soto. So, you know, if you want to help that out, you could probably answer those as well. Um, and then also, uh, they changed it from six individual boxes to five. Uh, that's because they, um, you know, they realized people didn't quite want uh, the, the buildings and stuff. Uh, even though it was, you know, kind of neat to have. Um, and then... Uh, they upped the bodies, like the actual figures themselves, from 3 to 4, so that, um, you know, like, that was more of a heavily requested thing. Again, from the questionnaires, they wanted, uh, more figures, uh, they wanted a monster, and they wanted things to play side by side with. So, um, basically, they sort of split the wave between good and bad characters. Uh, Mebius is, you know, the two versions of Mebius, those are the good guys, and then Agul and Kyroid, uh, are the bad guys, which Agul was, uh, from what I can tell, from what I've seen, uh, on the wiki, he's more of, uh, anti-hero, I guess, but, um, uh, in, in developing this, uh, there was a meeting had about Agul, because, uh, there are two different versions, apparently, and they went with the first version, uh, and... You know, they justified this because he this was more of the antagonistic version of Agul, apparently. So, um, he, the, the developer, or the guy that's writing this, Mr. P, said he wanted something like, uh, he, his quote was, Yesterday's enemy have become today's friends. That's translated. So he kind of wanted to put that in here. I don't know, man. Like, if you're worried about not getting V2... Definitely don't, because this is Chodo, and they do a lot. They do pretty much any everything. It's candy toy. You're gonna get through everything. So, um, he was just gonna be the bad guy for this set. Also, uh, the option parts uh, included come, you know, there's one thing for everyone, and they even put an option part set for uh, the, I guess, um, Agul's compatriot, like the, the main character of that show, uh, Ultraman Gaia, um, he has an option part set that they just threw in here for you. I think it was part of uh, Ultraman 5, or Choto 5, so th that's neat. They they just gave you something from the last wave. Uh, but that's, that's really it for that. Uh, this is going to be released in January 2020, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm sure the... Uh, uh, the pre-orders are either up already or are going up soon. Uh, so if you're excited for that, go ahead and check those out. But yeah, that's it for uh, Ultraman. So let's dive right into Kamen Rider. And we have our very first looks at Freezing Bear. This thing looks so incredible. And there are a couple neat things, like really neat things about this. Um, so first up, I was wondering how they would do the chest stuff because... You know, it's overlaid, it's clear plastic overlaid, and what they did was they stuck down a sticker first, and then we put over that chest armor, and that looks great. On top of that, the the clear plastic has this blue uh, paint over it that looks really crisp, and that also extends to the shoulders and the arms, so all that clear plastic is carried forward here. Um, 
And then obviously the back as well has that clear plastic detail. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the show itself had light blue over the clear plastic, but it's it's fine. This looks great. I, I love ice characters because, you know, obviously. Um, and then we go to the head, which is pretty special. Um, not only does it have the clear plastic over the head and then like three things of paint on top of it. Uh, we've got the little air ears, the blue, and then the, the gold. Um, but then when you look at the side of the head, there's a sticker underneath there, which isn't, uh, it's a little unheard of, I guess, but um, I don't know. The reason this is special is because this is a factory applied sticker. The reason is because if you separate the two halves of the head, or if you want to separate the two halves of the head, it, it leads to two different issues. Like, if if you wanted to pack it in with the two halves of the head separate, um, that runs into toy safety standards that won't allow you to make this happen. But And you might think, oh shoot, um, what is it, Kamen Rider Build Hazard did that, but they had the, the two face halves on a runner, so I have a feeling that that was what was able what they were able to to do to mitigate that um and then also um if you have them uh if you have the you place the two heads put together already um then you have to load and unload those two pegs and it's not meant to to be loaded and unloaded and they usually glue those so it really just came down to they have to put the sticker down and that's it and they did it for us, so that's really cool, that's really neat, and you know, it seems like a very easy sticker to put down, so I hope they don't mess it up in factory, but overall, like, paint-wise, I haven't had too many big issues, so I'd assume this is gonna work pretty well. Um, now, let's talk about hands, and we get all the same hand options that Flaming Tiger did, even down to the little, like, place where the the ice comes out uh, we also got our wrist sasser coming back but it's in this nice clear blue and I really like it and you can also put it on the stand obviously um, yeah so next up they wanted to talk about the clear plastic itself uh, this is not the first nor the second time that they've done it because it came in Greece and cross charge but the problem here was uh, when they were developing this figure um, they really only had uh, like sketches and stuff so they didn't know in suit how it was actually gonna look um, until the show happened and they realized you know since they were already in production they realized oh shoot we made it too opaque you can't see through it as much as you can in the show so they scrambled in order to get it right and we are left here with this beautiful beautiful looking piece so Please go out if you can. Please support Soto. They work really hard on this stuff. So next up, uh, we have the full wave layout or his wave layout. No, no real confusers here. There's nothing here that we haven't seen in the blog itself, unlike Valkyrie uh, from a few weeks ago. So this is it. This is our AI02, and yeah, he is coming in AI02. That's the reason they didn't number it last week. So. Yeah, this is a pretty stacked wave, and if you get the complete set, it's probably going to come with 10 different pieces. Now, I saw people being a little confused as to um, why the extra body was not shown here, uh, the extra 01 body, and they thought, oh no, we're not going to get our, you know, complete, complete set. You're going to need an extra body. You won't. Don't worry about that. Uh, they did this with AI-01. I just wanted to clear a bit of the confusion. I know a lot of people, or a lot of you guys already know that they've committed to putting a body in for every armor. So just know that nothing changes here. I don't think anything changes here. They didn't say anything was going to change. Don't worry about that extra armor. Like, th that. don't be scared. Anyway, uh, sorry, that was a, a quick, very long aside. Um, so yeah, let's talk about another two and we're getting Dan the man himself uh, and he looks pretty good until you know you actually look at him for too long let's take a look at the chest um, it has all this nice detail 
but the uh, the blog mentioned that hey, uh, the the I guess the collar that white collar that's painted and it looks like the the bottom of the tummy's painted, but everything else it's sticker. And there's a lot of green here, you'll notice. And going over to the arms, you know, that looks nice. Like, the, the claws, those look nice. But the shoulders, the the uh, the biceps, the everything, that's all stickered. And underneath, you can see green plastic. And then the legs just are green. I, ugh, I'm, I'm hesitant because if you have the first another set, they tried out this new sticker on it, and I hope it doesn't extend to these guys because that sticker wasn't great. Um, and yeah, anyway, let's take a look at the back uh, where we can see obviously the the uh, the tiger print from the front is actually just one big sticker extending from one side of the body to the other side of the body, and it like you know you know overlaps the entire back that's one sticker uh but they did want to note the one good thing about the sticker is that the 2010 um it has the cracks in in the 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 final zero that made the characters in that episode think that it was 2016 that they had to go back to and not 2010 so that's neat that's recreated and also you have the 2019 uh logo um and then also Another weird thing about the sticker, they and they did this in the another one, but all the the Chinese, uh, uh, the the B China, all that stuff, all the legal stuff on the butt is transferred to the sticker. So you're just gonna have to deal with that, I guess. Um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm complaining, but I'm I'm just glad that this figure exists. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the head, and obviously this is all PVC, all painted, even down to the wings of the head. Uh, so that that's all malleable, that's all well and good. Um, and then the Soto blog went kind of crazy with Dan. They showed off every single possible version of Dan that Soto created, and they showed him beating up <laughs> Geo, and it was glorious. So if you want to check that out, definitely take a look at the blog in the description down below. Then they gave us this nice shot, this nice group shot with all the another riders so far. They have yet to reveal, um, you know, just another uh, thing. They have yet to reveal another three. So, you know, we'll, I'm, I'm sure we'll get that eventually. I'm sure they're working on it. Uh, but yeah, that's mostly it. Uh, they wanted to end the blog with a little bit of a, hey, please help, because um, in Japan, tomorrow, which is in a few hours from now, and I don't know when it's going, this is going up, but um, this is when it comes out. This is when Zero One, AI Zero One, comes out, and they wanted to tell us, hey, the first week of sales is very important, uh, and it will, I guess, have a ripple effect for what retailers buy from them throughout the year. So if you really like Soto or are on the fence about Soto, please consider buying it. Uh, if you if you have the means, I don't want to like for you know uh, urge people to buy it if they don't have the means. These are these are great figures. There are great people working on these, and you know it, again, it feels really weird to uh, or at least for me to promote something in this way for a company that's like really big. But, it, you know, the, the blog gives this a very, I don't know, community-driven feel. And it's they, these guys are really working to give us the best experience. And they told us uh, one of the first two weeks of revealing Zero One uh, that, you know, uh, Bandai's wallet is going to cry from uh, this first set. Because I think, um, you know, the uh, at least Rising Hopper itself is going to be a very expensive figure to make so they are putting a lot into this line and i really hope you guys if you can go out and support anyways that's it for this episode if you like this episode hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week uh, make sure to check out soto sundays over at the Tokyo toy store 
YouTube channel, and then uh, tomorrow is going to be another episode of the Soto Pop podcast. While sometime during this week, uh, Malunis is going to have up on the Tokusatsu Network a Soto blog post where he's able to have a translator actually get in with this information and give all of, all of us like the juicy details. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy.